everyone, my name is Taylor Asuncion and I'm the Customer Service Manager for Send to Your Vet Quarter. In this YouTube video, we will be discussing the two mobile applications we have to offer with the Vet Quarter Pro. The two mobile apps are going to be called Vet Quarter Connect and Monitor Vitals. For Android users, please go to the Google Play Store and search Vet Quarter Monitor and Vet Quarter Connect. For iOS users, please go to the App Store and search for Monitor Vitals and Vet Quarter Connect. Please note the Monitor Vitals app may be called Vet Quarter Monitor for Android users. So I typically recommend searching Vet Quarter and both apps should pop up underneath. Once you've downloaded both applications, we are ready to begin. And just so you kind of have an idea of what both apps look like, I will go ahead and pull them up for you on my mobile device. First, I'm going to search for Monitor Vitals on my iOS App Store. And this is what the Monitor Vitals application is going to look like on an Android and iOS App Store. Our Vet Quarter Connect app is going to look like this. Both are completely free and ready to use with your Vet Quarter Pro. Monitor Vitals or Vet Quarter Monitor is an application many clinics use to either monitor their patients from a distance or they use the app to get the Monitor Vitals screen on their Vet Quarter onto a larger device such as a Samsung tablet, an iPad, even a bigger iPhone or Samsung phone. However, because it is a Bluetooth connection, it gives you the opportunity to step away from a patient and still have eyes on their vitals. So say you need to go and take a phone call, that's fine, you can still be monitoring your patient's vitals. Depending upon the structure of your building, you should be able to step about 30 to 50 feet away from your patient, still monitoring their vitals. So let's begin. We are first going to start with the Monitor Vitals application. However, the first thing I recommend is to always close out of all applications on your mobile device to ensure we have a fresh start. So I'm going to go ahead and select my Monitor Vitals app on my Samsung tablet. That's the app we're going to be using for this, but prior to opening up anything on our mobile device, we are going to go ahead with our VetCorder first. On our VetCorder Pro, we're going to insert the internal temp cable, the ECG cable, and your SPO2 cable. Once we have that, let's go ahead into our vet quarter and select Monitor Vitals. Now, to do this, we can test all three parameters on ourselves. So I'm gonna set my vet quarter pro down, and I'm gonna place my white ECG lead on a finger on my right hand. I'm gonna place my red ECG lead on a finger on my left hand and I'm going to place the SPO2 sensor on any one of my fingers. You will hear an audible beep too um, once the monitoring the vitals has begun. And then for the internal temperature cable, you can definitely place it in between a couple fingers just so you can see the temperature change. Otherwise, you can let the uh, internal temp probe sit at room temperature and it should pick up a room temp. So, I'm moving around so my screen looks a bit crazy, but your screen, once you notice the waveforms and the numerical values on your vet quarter screen are there, we are going to go ahead now and open up the Monitor Vitals app on our div mobile device. Please remember to only open up the Monitor Vitals application. Once we open that, we are going to get the option to either view offline data or select our vet quarter. We are going to go ahead and select our vet quarter as those are the last four serial numbers of our vet quarter. Once we select our vet quarter, it'll bring you right into our monitor vital screen. And this is how easy it is to use our monitor vitals app. You can keep this tablet or a phone in your pocket and still walk away from your patient 30 to 50 feet and still be able to monitor your patient. A lot of clinics, like I said, like to use this as a bigger device to, monitor, to, to use during procedures to get a better view of the vitals. The next mobile application that we have to offer is called VetCorder Connect. The VetCorder Connect app is used to save and share downloaded ECG or daily check recordings. 
Within the VetCorda Connect app, clinicians can view a list of patient data and recordings that are organized by the date and time that the recording is taken. By using mobile apps such as VetCorda Connect, we can reduce the time physically spent documenting patient vitals. So, let's begin. To begin using the VetCorda Connect app, like I said previously, I always recommend closing out of all applications on your mobile device. Once you've closed out of all applications, please open up on your VetCorder Pro prior to anything on your mobile device, the upload icon. Please note the upload icon is going to be on the second page of your VetCorder near settings. Once you select upload, you're going to see a Bluetooth icon search out for a connection. Once you see this on your VetCorder screen, we can then go ahead and go to our uh, mobile device to open up the VetCorder Connect application. We're going to get the option to either view offline data or select our VetCorder. So we are going to go ahead and select our VetCorder. You may notice when it is your first time connecting your VetCorder to a new mobile device, you may be prompted to enter in a passcode. Please note that passcode is always going to be 8888. If you ever forget the passcode, feel free you can always reach out to me or the screen on your vet quarter will have that pin. You may be prompted to enter in this pin with every mo new mobile device, whether you're using the Monitor Vitals app or the Vet Quarter Connect app. So now that we have entered our Vet Quarter Connect application, I am instantly brought into my daily check recordings. Please note, these are the guest recordings. These are not the recordings I took um, when I entered in my patient's information. To access the recordings when you enter in your patient's information, please select this animal icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And this is where your patient recordings will be. I'm going to go ahead and select by the patient I created, which is gonna be Taylor. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select my name. Now, here I have the recording I recently took and it has a right hand arrow which indicates that recording has already been downloaded. To download the recording, you're going to go ahead and press the downwards arrow. Once the recording has been downloaded, it's going to turn into this right hand arrow. You can then select the right hand arrow to bring up a summary of that daily check recording. This is going to be the summary of my daily check recording. And then if you notice in the upper right hand corner of my screen, I can go ahead and hit the share icon to either save this recording to my device as a photo or I can send it via email. So I'm going to go ahead and share this via email. So once you hit share, your mobile device is gonna bring up a list of applications that you can share this recording to. All the mobile applications will be different on your mobile device because we both probably have different apps downloaded. Once you share that, um, the recording via email, you can go ahead and bring up the file that it sends via email. Once you've had a chance to bring up the recording that you shared to your email, this is what it should look like. You will see the recording and then you will see your patient's name up top. However, please note, if you did not enter in your patient's information, the information at top will be blank because it will be a guest recording. Now that we have downloaded our daily check recording, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and download your ECG recording. To keep it a bit more organized, the ECG recordings will be kept in a different location within the VetCorder Connect app. So on my screen right now, I'm still in the summary of my daily check recording. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button to escape this screen. I'm going to be brought all the way back out to my main screen. And then if you see in the upper left hand corner of your screen, you are going to go ahead and select the three lines. You're going to get a list of options that come up and we are going to go ahead and select ECG recorder. Once we select ECG recorder, all of our ECG recordings will be listed here. Now you'll notice with ECG recordings, we can only take guest recordings. There is no patient information we can fill out for ECG recordings. That is only our daily check recordings. So it's the same process as it was to download a daily check recording. 
we are going to go ahead and download the recording by pressing the downward arrow. And then once that recording has downloaded, they're all going to turn into right hand arrows. We can then select the right hand arrow and we're going to get a summary of our ECG recording. To share the recording or save it to our device as a photo, we're going to go through the same step and hit the share button and go ahead and either save it to our device as a photo or share it via a list of applications. It'll bring up the email where we can type in the recipient and we can go ahead and send that ECG recording via email. With using the mobile apps, this is a Bluetooth connection, so we have to be pretty specific when we're using the apps. And what I mean by that is if we have the wrong app opened, we could get an error message such as update check me or update your software version. Please note this most likely is not telling you to update the software version on your vet quarter. This is just simply stating we have the wrong application opened up on our mobile device. Please be sure you are using the Monitor Vitals mobile app with the Monitor Vitals icon on your VetQuarter Pro. Please note for the VetQuarter Connect application, we need to be in the upload icon on our VetQuarter Pro. If we have either of these mixed up, we may get an update check me error message or an update message saying please update the software version on your VetQuarter. To resolve this, I recommend closing out of all applications on your mobile device including the VetCorder Connect or Monitor Vitals app. We are then going to go ahead on our VetCorder, open up the app, the icon we are intending to use with the apps, and once those icons have been opened, we are going to open up the mobile app on our phone. To show you what the error message such as Update Check Me looks like, I'm going to go ahead and open up the wrong app on my mobile device with the wrong icon on my VetCorder. So, when we use VetCorder Connect, we need to open the upload icon. So to show you what the update check me message looks like, I'm going to open up the monitor vital icon on my VetCorder and the VetCorder Connect app on my mobile device. You'll see, it's pretty fine letters, but it'll say, please turn on the Bluetooth of your Check Me device or enter offline mode. I'm not getting my vet quarter to come up to select, and that is because I have the wrong application open. So please, if you do receive an error message such as update Check Me, please go ahead, close out of all applications, reopen just the application you are intending to use. Remember, vet quarter connect, upload, monitor vitals, monitor vitals. But if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us anytime at 844-VETQUARTER or you can reach me directly at 715-953-2927. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and have a great day.